Fashion Week of Rochester is coming back October 9th through the 13th this year, uh, and the tenting has already gone up by Midtown uh, right there along 590. I'm delighted to welcome back to the program Meg Mundy and Elaine Spall. Great to see both Good of you. Good to see you. Good to be Thank back. you for having us. You can hear it in my voice. I'm excited. The community is <laughs> excited for this. Right. It's really become a big part of the fall season around here, Meg. And I know you've got a couple of great things or a lot of great things planned for this year. Oh, yes. We're excited to be back on our same location at Midtown Athletic Club. And we're kicking off with a great lunch, which we've not done a lunch in a while. So that'll be wonderful with firefighters on the runway. And we have some Eastman School of Music um, violinists playing. We're very excited about our Lead the Way show, which will feature role models in the community and teen fashion, free to high school students. And we have some great role models. Do you want to mention a yeah, few you know, of the we, ones that? We tried this last year. It was, our, it was our pilot. And boy, did the kids love it. So we're going to go back and make it even better. And uh, we've had such an enormous support from uh, Mark Iacona and uh, Mayor Lovely Warren and Carlos Carvalada, uh, Garth Fagan, just wonderful people who want to join us and to be part of this effort. Uh, of course, as Meg said, teenagers come free. You know, fashion weeks across the world are expensive and we never want to be that fat. We've said all along we are the inclusive fashion week. So being able to invite our teenagers uh, and have them come and then have them walk uh, the runway as well. Uh, that Lead the Way show again is leading honestly a new effort in, in fashion weeks and we're thrilled to be able to do that. And also having all these uh, wonderful role models in our community motivates the teenagers yeah. to possibly choose a career direction or just get a little bit of um, information about where they might go when they get out of high school. So it is, it's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. Business owners and uh, dancers and artists and musicians, just this community, as you know, is rich with talent. And that's one of the things that we love about Fashion Week. Meg uh, cast these shows with local models, mm -hmm. all of them local. Uh, all shapes and sizes and she said from the very beginning we will be that fashion yeah. show that fashion week and mark you know what it's meant to the center for youth and i don't even know how to thank this community and meg in particular you know meg is the fashion expert and she has completely internalized the role that she's playing in saving our homeless young people and two shelters in particular will be opened and sustained because of fashion week this year uh, a couple of questions for you. Talk about the themes for this year for Fashion Week. What are some of the overarching themes you'll you'll look to share with audiences? So always inclusiveness, inclu including the community. Um, so we have some great, as I mentioned, firefighters. We have a, a lot of young designers that have come out of the woodwork that are doing lingerie collections. One young man, Christopher Washington, is doing a great uh, line of sweatshirts and sweatpants and he was an ex-basketball player and he decided to be a teenage motiva motivational speaker and is now doing this line. Saturday night is always like the big finale mm -hmm. and that's high glamour and Friday is more of a family show. Actually this year I have Carhartt on the runway and I'm going back which is a great company still manufactured in uh, the U.S. and it's actually made its way into mainstream fashion off the off the construction site off the farm. So we're kind of um, embracing that theme. We might have some little uh, animals on the runway <laughs> with people in their car hard, a couple surprises. Okay. Uh, and then Thursday's the edgy show. Um, BMX bike riders, really wonderful local fashion designers, and just always a lot of surprises. I have a great group called Hammerstep that's a hip hop Irish step dancing group coming up from Brooklyn, and that will be our entertainment on the runway. So it's always high excitement, high glamour, but with an edge and in, in, in a, in a sort of a different theme in each show. You have a tab on the website called literally Why Fashion Week Matters. Yes. And, and, and there is sort of, that goes to the heart of this. Why, why do this? Ultimately, why does it matter? You know, people have said the irony of pulling together um, the high fashion and energy and creativity with one of our challenges, which is continues to be youth homelessness and our crisis nursery. I can't think of a better way to celebrate our community than to say we're going to we're going to look good and do good. We are not ashamed of looking good. We are not ashamed of that at all. We're sub celebrating that because yep. what we're doing is doing so much good. Um, our theme this year, uh, it's not how you stand, it's the stand you take. We're taking the gloves off about this 
a combination of, of good and, and what it means. Uh, we have a community that is incredibly generous and we see it every day. What we're seeing now is we're going to raise about $700,000 um, and about um, 450 or 500 of that will go right to our shelters. We will open a new shelter on Arnett Boulevard, a little teeny house for our LGBT and uh, traffic young people. Small house, five bedrooms, um, and just an opportunity to really keep our kids safe. And mm -hmm. there's no better way than to celebrate Rochester and to be there for our kids. So that's why Fashion Week matters. Well, here's to another great year. Thank you both for coming Thank in. You, Thank you, Mark. We know it's going to so be a much. huge success. Thanks Thank you so much. Your chance to participate and celebrate the success as well. Online, fashionweekofrochester.org for all your information. If you missed that link or any of our conversation, we're sharing it at rochesterfirst.com.